It has been one week since the May Day shooting in Stockton that killed three and injured 15. Loved ones of the victims are now honoring their memories. WKRG News 5's Haley Kennedy joins us now. Haley, earlier today you were at the memorial of the victim prosecutors believe was the target of the shooting. Yeah, KVI was. Now that was 24 year old Christian Bradley's memorial, a beautiful moment of saying goodbye. Now his family described him to be an amazing father and the definition of what love is. Family and friends honoring Christian Bradley, known to many as WAP, just one week after he was killed at the May Day mass shooting in Stockton. This week I felt like I've been in a, a bad movie and, and that I'm just wanting to wake up from, but it's just the reality. Even today, seeing him in the casket is like, it's still a dream, it's not reality, you know? Um, our family will never be the same. Bradley is one of the three victims who lost their lives that night. 15 others were injured, including his friend Jalen. We were having a good time, it just was very a chaotic moment, and then things turned for the left. That's when shots were fired and bullets filled the air. Bradley's family tells News 5 that he died protecting the person he loved the most, his four-year-old daughter. And the minute she, she was born, um, she was always with him. You know, any way he went, anything he did, he had her with him. In a nutshell, Christian was the emblem of what family should be. Um, he embodied everything about love. Love that his family is now missing, but will forever hold in their hearts. He was just a good person that was taken away from us. We love you all. Yeah, I was a proud uncle of the young man that he had become. Two arrests have been made, including 19-year-old Taquan French. Investigators believe that French intended on killing Bradley the night of the shooting. French is currently charged with murder and could be facing additional charges. Reporting in the studio, Haley Kennedy, WKRG News 5. Thank you, Haley. Taquan French appeared in court Thursday hoping to post bond. The prosecution put that on hold. This coming week, French will have an Anaya's Law trial to determine whether or not he will be released on bond. Anaya's Law aims to keep violent offenders in jail while they await trial.